In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily transform and manipulate your subject in Photoshop. Start by duplicating the layer by clicking on Ctrl or Command plus J. Then to quickly select the subject, choose any quick selection tool, then click on the Select Subject button. Once your subject is selected, you can further enhance your selection by taking the Refine Edge Brush tool and remove any fringes and unwanted areas from the subject. Then make sure to change the output to New Layer with Layer Mask and click OK. Now that you have the subject in a new layer, you can turn it off for the moment, then turn on the background layer, and now we need to remove the subject from the background image. So Ctrl or Command click on the Layer Mask thumbnail to load it as a selection, then go to Select, Modify, and Expand. I'm going to expand this by 15 pixels, then click OK. You can also click on Q to double check your selection and you can also use the brush tool and paint with white to add additional areas to your selection. Once you're happy with your selection, click on Q again to go back to the selection mode and then go to Edit Content Aware Fill. Photoshop will automatically fill that area with background information then you can click on Ctrl D to deselect. If you have any areas that are left you can use the Clone Stamp tool to sample and paint on top of that area to remove it. Now you can turn on the subject layer and because it is separated from the background, you can use Ctrl or Command D to transform and move the subject. So before you do that, right click on the layer and then convert it to Smart Object. And once you're transformed and moved your subject, you can also move and rotate parts of the body using the Puppet Warp. So go to Edit, then Puppet Warp. If you don't like to see the mesh, you can click on Ctrl or Command H to hide it. Then you can click to add a new point in the middle and then two more points on her knees. Once you do that, you'll be able to select a point and then use Alt or Option to move and rotate her legs. Now to extend the canvas, start by selecting both the background image and the content aware fill layer. Then click on Ctrl Alt E to create a merge visible of those layers. Now click on C to get to the crop tool and click to extend your canvas. Then make sure the merge visible layer is selected and then go to Edit Content Aware Scale. You can hold Shift to extend from one area and now you'll be able to easily extend the sky. Now to move the balloons, we can do the same thing that we did with the girl. So start by selecting them using the Object Selection tool. Then click on Ctrl J to duplicate it in a new layer. Now Ctrl or Command click on that layer to load it as a selection. And again, go to Select, Modify and expand it by 15 pixels. Now you can go back to the background layer and use Content Aware Fill again to remove that area. And now you can easily transform and rotate that layer. Now for the last finishing touch, we can add a rope to make it look like the girl is floating and holding on to the balloons. So create a new layer and then move it underneath the balloon layer and then you can take the brush tool and use a very small brush size. Then click on the girl's hand, hold shift and then click again to add a straight line. And that's it, that's how you can easily transform your subject in Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on new tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.